Before I get to the KISS Creatures of the Night vinyl unboxing and talking about that you've all so graciously tuned in for, I will first talk a little bit about this uh, ongoing Metallica 72 Seasons record, vinyl, LP, whatever you want to call it, fiasco. It's a fiasco, I think is what it is. Uh, it's a, a scandal. Uh, it's a, uh, a debacle. Uh, uh, Little Carmine from The Sopranos, he would call it a debacle, but I, I think it's pronounced debacle. Uh, a fiasco, whatever you want to call it. A little update when I, when, when I last spoke to you and, and told you, this was yesterday, um, the, the mix-up, the store, national store who wanted me to return, the one that they sent me that they never should have sent me, for one, because I had canceled it and it went to their spam folder, two, because it wasn't supposed to be released until this Friday, although realistically it was supposed to, release, to be released, supposed to have been released two weeks ago, um, that was tricky. Um, so they told me yesterday you have to take pictures of it and send, a, send it to us um, to see that it hasn't been, in their words, manipulated. Um, so I did. I, I took a picture of that. And, oh, let me, let me show you something quickly. I still have it over here. Just a second. I had forgotten a prop. Uh, not that I forgot. I wasn't planning on using it, but I will show you. As, as I showed in uh, yesterday, the last episode, I had shown you this, but I hadn't opened it. Now you can see I have opened it, even though I'm returning it. These, uh, these people at Mix Up, they said take pictures of it so we know before we give you a return number and a return authorization, um, we have to know that it's in, in the original condition, so take a picture and send it to us. So I took a picture of this as it was uh, accepted by my neighbor two days ago because I wasn't here to accept it. So I said, yeah, here it is. I haven't opened it, blah, blah, blah. They said, no, you have to open it and show the actual product, which doesn't make any sense. They, they packaged it, they put it in this DHL package. So however it came to me was how it left their grubby hands. Uh, but they said, no, you have to open it and take pictures of it. So I, I had to actually open this. And it's, this is, imagine that, I don't mind doing an unboxing for you people, but I had to do an unboxing for those morons at mix up and so I had to take it out now here it is and this is what I'm returning and there it is in the uh, original packaging is this true is it could it be do I have another live update delivery package being delivered as I did yesterday I think it is I, I see the white truck out there which indicates Amazon I see the guy sitting in his truck. If, if, you didn't, if you don't remember, if you didn't see, yesterday I was in the middle of this video and I had a delivery from Amazon, which is not the album that I'm gonna talk about today, Creatures of the Night. He's just sitting in his, uh, sitting in his van, it's a white van. I'm sure that's, that's Amazon. Let me, uh, I'll even turn the camera around so you can see this. This is like breaking news. There's, there's the, oh, he is calling. All right, let me go get it. Look at this giant stack that I've accumulated. So the guy just delivered this one. And I've got this one and this one. These, these are all the, for upcoming episodes, uh, unboxing and talking about. So I've, I've got uh, a lot of material here. Uh, but I'll put these aside. I'll, I'll, I am gonna one of the, now. Let me put this here. This is uh, if I have them correct. This is this is Kiss uh, Creatures of the Night, which believe it or not, I am gonna get to it today. But I'll put these here. So getting back to just a second. God, so my house is. Uh, I could turn my house into a museum of cardboard. Uh, so so here's the Metallica '72 Seasons. You saw me open this a couple of days ago. Uh, but I have another copy. I had to actually open it, which seems very counterproductive. They, if they want to see that it's not damaged, isn't it better that they see it how I received it when, when they sent it, as they sent it? I don't know. So uh, as it turned out, as it ended yesterday, I uh, sent them an email with pictures of this. And so hopefully now all I have to do is wait for uh, a return authorization number 
and watch watch me drop this or break it as I as I put it back in here, and then I'm out uh, more money. So I, I have to put this back in here. I'll take care of that after all. Wait right there. I'm gonna put this right here. So that's out of the way. That rocking sound was my cat almost knocking over her cat tower, which is normally right here. I have to move her cat tower every time I enter my my studio. God, this is this is the worst ever. This is so off track. This has become about not kiss, but about something else. Uh, so now I am going to get to the kiss uh, creatures of the night, and I think I have them correct. There's no markings to identify which is which, but I think this is creatures of the night. Uh, so I'm going to open this right now. And I have my, uh, my box opening knife. I have different knives for different occasions. This one uh, is, is for opening boxes. I have another one for, uh, for eating, another one for stabbing, uh, different functions. So I will open this from Amazon. Oh, and I also ordered two more today. So I have three in my house now, and I have two more on the way. You'll have to see what they are. Always cut away from you. Don't, don't cut it like this because you might stab yourself in the heart or other vital organs. So you should always uh, slice, slice away. Kind of like uh, Jerry Seinfeld says, brush away from the gums, away from the gums. All right, and one quick one right down the middle. Jacket open. I'll put my knife down. My cat is very interested. Uh, now this one, this, this didn't have the uh, the plastic airbags as as the one yesterday did. Uh, all right, and a different different uh, slightly different packaging too. Let's see. Oh, all right, there it is. What do you think about that? Finally, after all that uh, preface. Huh, made in, uh, made in Czech Republic. Look at that. Made in Czech Republic. Ah, I've, I'd forgotten. Now this does have the classic Kiss logo. I was a little bit concerned about that when I ordered this, and I got this from Amazon, by the way. And it was 454 pesos, which is a great price. It was 554, but for some reason, there was a coupon applied to it that, that if I clicked to apply it, it was 100 peso coupon, so it was 454 pesos. You can do the math yourself for the currency conversion. I don't know where you live, so I'll just tell you that it was 554 pesos. Um, I don't know, ah, this bothers me a little, little, little bit. It says half speed remaster. I, I don't want that on there. Um, and I, I'll talk about that a little bit too. But one thing I was concerned, uh, when I ordered it from Amazon, it looked like this. And then some, I don't know, the day after I ordered it, I clicked on it and it showed that it had the German over here, the German S's, which it's a minor thing, but that I really don't like that. I, to be honest, I'm not interested. I know it's all about the music, but I'm not interested in having that KISS zigzag logo or the, the, the non German S's on any KISS thing. Uh, that, that's a, a deal breaker for me. So I was a little bit concerned about what I was going to do if I'd open this to see the, uh, the non-classic KISS logo, but there it is. Um, all right, so uh, Creatures of the Night, there's, there's the, the Hype sticker. All right, uh, Creatures of the Night, first ever half-speed remaster. 180 gram audiophile vinyl tip on. What, what the hell does that mean? Tip on premium jacket. I don't know what the hell that means. And if you're interested in if, if you can see, there's the, the spine. What the hell is a tip on jacket? Tip on premium jacket. Um, I mentioned yesterday when I got the dress to kill, which is over here, and I listened to it last night. Uh, and what a joy it was to listen to that. Man, that album, Dress to Kill, is 31 or 32 minutes. Going back to Metallica 72 seasons, which is 78 or 78, 77 or 78 minutes. What a joy it was to listen to Dress to Kill. I listened to it and I, I wanted more. With Metallica, you listen to it 
and this goes for almost all these long albums. You listen to it, and you're by the end of it, you're you're you feel tired. You think this fucking thing is still playing. Um, but in Creatures uh, Dress to Kill yesterday, I said you know that it was the 180 gram vinyl, which is kind of a new thing. I think that's been around for about 10 years or so. I don't. I think it's just a marketing thing. Um, for some reason, if it's 180 gram, it's better. Maybe old records originally were I don't know 150, 120 grams. I'm not sure. I think that's just pure garbage. Now this half speed master. I heard of that half speed remaster. I first heard of that maybe two years ago. Just crap. I, I can't imagine that this is going to sound any better or even any different than um, a regular remaster or even the original one. Um, I guess I could Google that, but what the hell is a half speed remaster? I'm supposed to be impressed by that. Um, so before I actually open it up, and I don't know what the packaging is, uh, I will. Oh, I got to take another little break. Too many, too many cuts in this. For my liking, um, let me take just a quick break, uh, and I will continue to talk about Kiss Creatures of the Night. I am back with my Kiss Creatures of the Night vinyl record. I did the unboxing. Now I'm going to do, uh, I guess, the unwrapping, and then I'm going to talk about the album. So I will uh, grab my knife again, and uh, I'm not sure what the packaging is like. I'll, I'll talk about my original copy of this record that I had way, way back when I was but a young boy, a teenager, as a matter of fact. Uh, there we go. All right. I think I can just slide this. Forget about white snake. slide it in. I'm going to slide it out of this cellophane wrap. I don't know why I'm being so, so gentle, because I, I just throw the wrap in the garbage. I don't want to bend the cardboard, I guess. It's funny when you're a kid or a teenager, or even, I don't know, when I was older than that, um, you, you didn't care about that. It was just something to listen to. You would just tear, tear, the, you know, the, the wrapper open right away. You didn't care about the, the hype sticker or anything like that. Um, I think I'm going to revert to my teen years, at least partially, and get this... Uh, Get this off. There we go. All right. All right. Here it is. Uh, oh, this is a this is a shiny record. Dress to Kill, as I mentioned yesterday, was a kind of a matte finish. Maybe this is what they call. What did they call this on the hype sticker? Tip on, tip on premium jacket. Maybe maybe because uh, it's. It's, uh, it's, it's glossy, it's not matte. Maybe that's why. Um, oh, the eyes are embossed. The, the, the lighted eyes of the fellas are a little bit embossed. Yeah, all right, uh, and let's see what's inside. All right, it's already better. Oh, this is nice. This is already better than uh, Dress to Kill, which had nothing, that just a plain white paper sleeve. Am I missing anything? No, that's it. All right, so so here's the uh, the sleeve. There it is. Pretty simple. I mean, at least it's got the lyrics. It's it's something. There it is. Uh, with let me see the order. Creatures of the Night, Saint and Sinner. Is Rock and Roll Hell third? I can't remember the the writing order. I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit more. Later, uh, so there, there's the the lyrics for the first side, and I guess the second side, a blue Kiss logo. Kind of rare to see a blue Kiss logo. It's usually um, uh, what alive was kind of a purple and red, or maybe like a uh, orange and yellow. Blue is a little bit rare. Um, it looks cool in every, in any color. Kiss logo is the greatest logo in the history of bands. Uh, and I've oh, ah, and I've got a blue logo. Uh, now let's see the actual record. All right. There it is. And there it is. I guess the, these. this is one of the ones that came out. I guess they reissued all these KISS records on vinyl in 20... I can't remember the year. 2014, I want to say. Um, and there it is. Let me put this back in. 
so, so getting to the actual record itself, as I put it down. Uh, as oh, now I mentioned it was five, 454 pesos, which is, I, I have no problem. I mean, that's a little bit expensive. When I, was, when I was a kid, when I was your age, when I was your age, you son of a bitch, records cost a nickel. Nothing like that. But, but records, when I was buying records, they were six ninety nine, maybe to eight ninety nine. So four hundred fifty four pesos. That that's a big, 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 big difference. Obviously, we're we're comparing thirty years here. Um, but four hundred fifty four is great, considering as I mentioned yesterday, El Chopo. You find records that are eight hundred or more, and they're in just the worst condition you could imagine. Some of them, you won't find anything less than five hundred. So if, to get this for four fifty four, I'm pretty happy about that. CDs are three to four hundred, which is awful. Um, so now this is not, I know a lot of people love, a lot of KISS fans love Creatures of the Night. I don't. I, I check my, my notebook when I did the video of the KISS ranking. Um, I had it at 17 out of 29. There are 16 KISS albums that I like better than Creatures of the Night, which is probably blasphemous for some of you KISS nerds and KISS geeks, KISS tards, whatever you want to call yourselves. Maybe you don't like calling yourselves a kiss tard. Um, I don't love this album. I, I like it. It's fine. But um, I love Di I love uh, Unmasked way more than, than Creatures of the Night. Obviously, I love all the, the classic ones. Um, I love the Gene Simmons solo album. Obviously, I love the Ace more than this too, but a lot of people don't like Gene. Gene's is way up there for me. Creatures of the Night at 17. Um, now, for the actual record... This came out in 1982. I got, I had all the KISS records. I got into them, blah, 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 1976. You all know this, or maybe you don't know this. Um, now the last one I bought, I bought, I got Alive, then after that I bought, uh, or I bought, my parents gave me whatever, in order I guess, Destroy a Rock and Roll Love Gun. So albums, um, Dynasty Unmasked. I never bought Unma uh, Elder, because I hated it and still do. And I also never got this. Then after them with Lick It Up, I got them all after that. Um, but I did love I Love It Loud in, in 1982. There were, there were a few songs that around the 81, 82, 83 that I just couldn't get enough of. Iron Man by Black Sabbath was one. Um, Quiet Riot, Come On Feel The Noise, that was a little bit later. That was 83. And I Love It Loud, my God, I couldn't get enough of those three songs. It was just, I was obsessed with them. Um, but for some reason, I never got the album. I, the only time I ever heard I Love It Loud was it was on the radio sometimes. And then a little bit later, you know, the, you'd see the video for it. Um, but I got this album in 1980, must have been 85. Uh, if anybody remembers, I'm sure you all remember if you're a KISS fan, they put it out. This is the original artwork. They put out a, a, a newer version of it in 1985 with a horrible album cover with, with Bruce Kulick. Uh, it was with no makeup, all the four of them, Eric, Gene, Paul, and um, Bruce Kulick. Don't know why Bruce Kulick, because he didn't play anything on it. Now this guy, his name is Ace Frehley, he didn't play anything, anything on it either. But at least they put him on the cover, it's understandable, because they wanted people to think, I didn't show the back, I don't think. There's, there's the back, there's the track list and all the, the thunder and lightning. Lightning, I guess, you can't see thunder. Um... But yeah, that, that album cover sucked with Bruce Kula. So, I, so this is actually the first time I've ever had this cover. And I think the CD, I also, when I got it on CD years later. So this is, I'm just realizing this now, this is my first time ever owning this album cover. Uh, so there it is. So as I mentioned, Ace didn't plan it. I think nothing. I think really, just like they had done two years earlier and two albums earlier, Unmasked, that Peter Chris was on it, I mean on the cover, but not, didn't play one drum beat on it. Ace, I think, didn't play one lick of music on this. It was, uh, I guess, mostly Vinnie Vincent and maybe, um, what's that guy's name? The guy from like one of those 80s, like Till Tuesday or Aha, Mr. Mr., something like that. Um, maybe he played on one song. Uh, but other than that, I think it was uh, all Vinnie Vincent. And I listened to this a couple of days ago, not the actual record, which I will listen to probably. I don't know when, but I'll get a chance, when I get very good, get a chance. Uh, of course, I have this digitally, and I listened to it a couple days ago. And I, 
I realized that I hadn't listened to it, the album for a long, long time because I, well, when I get to the track by track, I'll talk about this, which uh, I guess is right about now. So I'll start with the, the first track. It's, it's uh, Creatures of the Night, the title track. So when I listened to this a couple of days ago and Creatures of the Night came on, I realized this sounds almost unfamiliar. I, I'd become familiar with the, the version from Alive 3, which opened that album. They were opening with that song, Creatures of the Night, on that tour, the Revenge tour that was recorded for Alive 3. And um, it made me realize I hadn't listened to this full album in probably decades. Um, Creatures of the Night, it, it's a pretty good song. Maybe amongst my favorite, I don't, I don't think there's one song in this album that I just rave about, like love, that like, you know, King of the Nighttime World, or She, or Calling Dr. Love, Christine 16, Plaster Caster, 100,000 Years, Parasite, there's nothing, none of, none of those songs on here. Um, it's good, but um, I like the Alive 3 version better, in keeping with tradition, I guess, of liking the live versions better than the studio versions. Next is Saint and Sinner, you're a saint, you're a saint, I'm a sinner, and deuces are wild. Better wake up, I can't even remember the lyrics. It starts with uh, getting off this carousel, you can do what you please, you can go to hell. That song, it's okay, nothing special, it's, uh, it's fine. This album was, a, a, I guess you'd say, a return to form for Kiss. It was, it was a rock album, maybe even a heavy metal album, whereas The Elder came directly before it. And Unmasked, I love Unmasked, but um, it's not a really a hard rock record, not barely a rock record. Dynasty before that, so this was the, and then the soul albums before that, this was really the first, I guess, Kiss, true Kiss rock record since Love Gun in 1978, four years early. It seems like a lifetime because there was so many albums in between. Um, but th this had a very, a much, much heavier hard rock sound. Um, next is Keep Me Coming. That, that could be a favorite. That, that's got a little bit of a, kind of a cool groove to it. I know, I know. I know what you're like. You're not sleeping at night. Can't remember. Sweet little innocent girl. Da, 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 da. I think that's a little bit Led Zeppelin-ish. Um, that, that's a good song. Keep Me Coming, I like. Rock and Roll Hell, Get Me Out of This Rock and Roll Hell. Eh, it, it reminds me of, uh, or I guess I should say later on Sonic Boom, they had, uh, uh, what was that shitty song called? I'm, a, I'm an Animal, um, which is kind of like rock and roll, just kind of a slow rock and roll hell, kind of a slow plotting song that doesn't really do anything for me. I'm sure some, some people love it. I don't. Uh, danger, 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 give me danger. Give me measures of pleasure and pain. Again, it's it's okay. I I put this in the category of saint and sinner. Just just average for me. And I think is it danger that the end of that song, Paul Stanley sings a little bit operatically, like like he does in um, uh, Elder. I I think it's danger. Yeah, it is. Um, like literally the last seconds of that song, he says something I can't remember. And it it's, it's, sounds very operatic, and I don't, I don't really like it, but eh, Danger is okay. Uh, I Love It Loud, you would, now you would uh, flip it over and put on side two. I Love It Loud, as mentioned, was obsessed with that song. It's, it's similar, I talked about this uh, in the last one with Rock and Roll Night, Crazy Train, Enter Sandman. You're tired of it, but I can't deny that I love that song. Um, it, it's, it's rare that I, that I would listen to it by choice. Extremely rare. As I mentioned, I listened to this album uh, a couple of days ago in full, and within the context of the album, I actually really liked it because all the other songs that were surrounding it were just kind of average. So I Love It Loud for me really, really stood out. So I am sick of it, but uh, that's a great song. Headline, Jungle is the Only Rule. Um, turn it up, this is my attitude, take it or leave it. Um, rock on, I won't be tranquilized. Heavy metal attitude. Uh, what else? Um, God, I know that song cold, but I can't think of the lyrics. Can't think of it. Anyway, you all know I love it loud. You don't need me to, to say the lyrics for that song or any song for that matter. Yet I do. And uh, next is I Still Love You. Again, it's okay, I guess, as far as uh, ballads go. 
It's it's okay. I think it's one of their longest songs. How long is uh, I Still Love You? I think it's like seven minutes, six, six something. It doesn't have the time listed on uh, on the record, nor on the sleeve, nor on the jacket. But I, I think it's over six minutes. I want to say it's close to seven. Uh, must be the longest Kiss song, or one of the top two or three anyway. Maybe something on Carnival's, Carnival of Souls. Carnival of Souls might be longer. Uh, next is Killer. That one I like. Um, that's, that's a heavy metal song. Love is a gun, love is a blade, she's a killer. Bitch is uh, something, something. Bitch is insane. Bitch is insane, she deals in pain. A little bit bondage or, or uh, S&M lyric, similar to Sweet Pain maybe. Uh, killer, Killer is pretty good. Uh, and the last one, only nine songs on this album, nothing wrong with that. Uh, and the last song is War Machine. Maybe that's my favorite. That's another one that's a little bit overplayed. They play it live all the time. Um, great riff on that one. Yeah, man, maybe War Machine is my favorite. Keep me coming. I Love It Loud maybe would get an honorable mention as my favorite. Um, but that's it for... Uh, for Creatures of the Night. I'm, I'm sure many of you would, would disagree with that, what I would say. Good sounding album, I guess, but I, I don't think the songs are that great. And it was ne uh, dedicated to Neil Bogart, 1943 to 1982. Uh, so he was 39, is that right? 39 when he died. He was the president of uh, Casablanca Records, Kiss's original label, up until, I think through the soul albums, all their albums were released on Casablanca Records. So that's it for Creatures of the Night. And as as uh, as mentioned and as shown, stay tuned. I got a, I got a couple more. They'll be coming up. I'm not sure when. And uh, also ordered two more today, so I have four more. And I'm not saying they're Kiss. They they could be any number of a band that I love that that is worthy of my um, hard earned money or my money. Um, but so, so uh, a couple of those coming up at some point. And don't forget, if you like this kind of stuff, I'm going to see Rod Stewart in two days. He's playing here on, on Friday night. Today's Wednesday. And I'm going to go see Rod Stewart. And I'm going to be showing all the Rod Stewart bootleg merchandise outside his concert. And that's all. So um, stick around for all that. Thank you for watching. See ya.